What you see with uh, young people who are violent often, uh, at least in our experience, is that they experience anything that aimed at their self-esteem in a mode that we have called a psychic equivalent mode, which is, but basically as if it was for real. They don't have the capacity. If I look at myself in the mirror in the morning and I think, look at the person in the mirror and I think, Fonagy, you look ugly. Uh, you know, oh God, you got old, you look ugly, you're grey. Uh, you know, then I can think to myself, that's just a thought. That's not for real. Imagine if I believed it. If I really thought I was ugly. If I just couldn't get away with it. Because I didn't have the capacity to, as it were, symbolize that experience. Doing, well, that's just a thought. So if you have a young person who is being insulted, who somebody says, you know, uh, you, know you smell. You know, if you can mentalize, you can just think, well, uh, just this person is just saying it. It's just, it's a, it's a, but if you are you know, vulnerable to losing this capacity, particularly in, in moments of high arousal, actually uh, what uh, happens is you feel it uh, in a, uh, a way that really destroys you. We've called this ego destructive shame. That, you know, that, that, that the, when somebody makes you feel bad, it actually really gets through to you. It's really because you don't have that protective layer around your mind, that mentalization, thinking about thoughts and feelings uh, can give you. So, you know, these are, I think, are the, the major components uh, of what makes uh, a person violent. The early neglect, the trauma and the disruption uh, of uh, the system of regulating affect, potential for loss of that regulation, but also uh, trauma turning you away from the minds of other people. Um, and all that, I think, is uh, in combination uh, with uh, an experience of others that's extremely concrete. Uh, I think makes you uh, a dangerous person uh, for others to be with at times. To put it kind of very simply, um, I would say that it's it's like missing a skin, and or you know you are after a burn, you know when your epidermis is gone, you're enormously sensitive because your nerves are exposed, very close to the surface. That's the kind of uh, psychological environment a lot of these young people live in. Um, that you know, the tiniest things can happen and they don't have the defenses, if you like, the protection that thinking about other people in terms of mental states provides.